Hiya! Here I am, Tracy, back with another haul. <laughs> another haul from Timu. This, I've got a little piece on my desk here, and I've got some more stuff over there. And then that will be it until I do a Christmas haul. Because I've got other things in the pipeline. <laughs> We're going to give Timu a couple of weeks break. <laughs> so, mmm. Mm. This is probably the best thing I've bought from Timu, to be fair. It keeps the stuff cold. I've got like flavoured juice water in here. It keeps it cold all day. It can be on my desk and I sip on that. It's good. I like it. Let's get into it. Woohoo! How is everyone doing? I do love doing these hauls. I like the chats. <laughs> what did I buy this time? I think I'm getting better at leaving a lot of the sort of took bits out and just picking what me and the family need and bypassing a lot of the rubbish. I'm getting um, good at spotting it on the site when I think, mm, I don't think that's good. And I'm getting a bit better at reading descriptions and taking less notice of the pictures because <laughs> some of their pictures lie. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> let's get into some of these little bits and pieces that I've got let's start with something really silly and mundane but it's been agitating me see this tiny little spatula look it's got a little spoon let's get it out and pack it little silicon spoon one end quite floppy that little spoon actually <laughs> and a little spatula end the other it's tiny but when you get to the empty a bottle of cream and there's always loads of cream in it but you can't get at it this will get it out and I thought I need something like that and it is something stupid but uh, yes but as always I'm gonna put Links to the products down below and all the prices so that we don't have to rummage through looking for prices now. I can just show you what it is. You can go look in the description. Say so really silly, but I'm going to use that a lot. <laughs> a lot. Okay, what's this one? I know I bought a few different sort of lip and eye stuff. Oh, this is lipstick, aloe vera lipstick, this one. Okay, okay. This is supposed to be colour changing. Colour changing lipstick, long lasting, moisturising. It was 89 pence. But how do I get into it? Oh dear. Okay, I mean, <laughs> I've got it undone. Oh, okay, it's nice and, ooh, it's very green. Let me get a mirror. This is not like me to do all this. Ooh. See that? <laughs> okay, it feels nice. I like the aloe vera, but yeah, there's a definite hint of pink now, isn't there? Mm. Let's put that mirror down. I like that. And for the couple of pence that it was. Oh. 
let me know if they go really, really weird. <laughs> but yeah, it's like lipstick. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Gobsmack. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> mm. I've got another lippy one here, so I'm going to have to get a tissue and wipe that off. <laughs> does it come off in a colour? Oh, it does. Look, it comes off pink. Yeah, look, pink. <laughs> and it's bright green. <laughs> How weird. Is it all gone? Hmm. I like that one. <sighs> okay, got another. Oh, it's wrapped as well. <laughs> oh, the tight wrappings. Aren't they a nightmare? Is it just me? Does everybody have trouble getting into these sort of things? Okay, this is the next one. My favourite flavour on the planet is blueberry. Just, I don't know what it is. I don't particularly like fresh blueberries, but anything that's blueberry flavor and yeah, I'm all over it. Let's open it up. And this is, oh, that's what was in the box. Fruit flavor, water, lip plumping. Temperature controlled lippy stick. Okay, so okay. I hope it don't plump too much. Imagine if I'm going to end up with massive lips. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here we go. Wish me luck. <laughs> Lip plumping, apparently. I can definitely feel the moisturising fact. It definitely feels like a good moisturising effect. It doesn't taste a blueberry at all. I can't taste blueberry anywhere on that. Can't smell blueberry either. Lip plumping. I mean, how long does it take to plump? Who knows? I'll leave that on for a little while and we'll see if they get, <laughs> we'll see if they get big through the video. <laughs> okay. Lip plumping. Okay. Watch. Yeah. Next one. I think I'm starting to get a little bit vain. This is for dark circles under the eyes. <laughs> it's supposed to be an eraser of dark circles. It's called Smooth Texture Coverage. So I suppose it's a bit like a, just a concealer, is it? And that's what it comes out like. And it has got a little sponge on the top. Now, how do you work it? Okay, I had to twist and click this bit. And I think I've got it open now. It seems to be just coming through to the, the sponge. Let's give it a go, eh? God, make myself look like a complete clown. Let's go. Properly. Mm. Okay, I can only get a little bit out. Look. Do they look any better? Let's put my glasses on because I can't see <laughs> Jack. I don't think so. But I think maybe I'm just not able to get enough of it on. Because look. I mean, I've twisted it as much as I can. 
He wants the grandkids to come around and just get it working. Not unless it's like that on purpose so that you can't put too much on. But really minimal amount is coming out. Hmm. I might have to continue playing with that one later, but so far as far as I'm concerned, that's not not good because it's not coming out enough. If you've had this one, let me know how you've got on with this one. How's my lips doing? Are they any plumper? <laughs> no, I don't think they are. <laughs> hmm, I'm not sure about that one. We'll play with that one later. But so far, that's a meh. <laughs> what have we got now? It's another eye cream. I am getting vain. <laughs> it is, and it is called TWG Eye Cream Moisturising and Anti Wrinkle. I think it's too late when you've got wrinkles. <laughs> I don't think anything can stop wrinkles, can it? Can it? But I need some more just moisturiser, so as long as it moisturises, that's good. It's a pretty big tube. Don't normally get eye tubes that big, do you? Normally, like, down here. So that makes it suspicious. <laughs> What's this say on the site? It says, oh, my God. On the site, it calls it magical eye cream that works. And this is, they do a day one and a night one. And this black one is the nighttime one. And it's supposed to tightenize. Sounds a bit <laughs> scary. <laughs> and I assume help get rid of dark circles and wrinkles. Magic eye cream. Imagine that. But that is for nighttime. Oh, it's very gelatinous. Let's see. Oh, it's a big tube. Okay, it is a cream. It smells okay. It's a nighttime cream, so I don't know on that one. <laughs> I can't really test it out right now. It's a cream. Is it a magical eye cream? If I, over the next, I don't know, month or two, I start to look better. You know what, also run out and buy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it was only a pound anyway. But as long as it moisturizes, that's what I'm after. Okay, what did I get this time? I got a little bow ring oh how cute it's quite cute isn't it it's only a couple of pence so i thought i'd pick it up it nice and clear yeah that's quite cute Doo -doo. pretty Keep that one on. Couple of pence. What we got now? Let's stick with the creamy things. Okay. What's this called? This is called. This is nighttime moisturizer as well. Day and night. Oh, it's both. Oh, it's another limp. 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 <laughs> Limp plumper, that's yeah, the wrong kind of show. <laughs> it's another lip plumper, and it is a day and night time effect. Not sure why you'd want plump lips at night. No, this is definitely turning into the wrong show. Let's change the subject and just open it. <laughs> okay, you got two tiny little like capsules inside the box Doo -doo. how they look Vaseline 
moisturize. Oh. They're three mil in size, three mil each for the day and the night. So that's night time, that's daytime. So let's put the night time one down and just use the daytime. And it says it is capsule lip. I keep saying limp. <laughs> Get that out of your head, Trace. Capsule lip plumper, big mouth lip gloss. <laughs> How rude. <laughs> moisturizing and enlarging lip pump plumper liquid wow i can't speak that today <laughs> but it means i need to wipe this one off but this other one isn't doing anything anyway <laughs> so that blueberry one rubbish <laughs> There's still pink coming up. <laughs> so I'm looking in my mirror. <laughs> yeah, that blueberry one is a pile of pants. Complete rubbish. Let's try this one. It always makes me nervous in case it stings or something. <laughs> but let's undo. Oh, okay. It's got like a little foamy brush thing on the inside. Need me mirror again, hold on. Yeah, okay. Clap greasy. It's like oil. Gosh, it's like oil. That is oil. Mm, that's not taste very nice. It's a good gloss. It's definitely glossy and there is a bit of tingling going on. Now I'm assuming the tingling is what's going to make them plump up. Oh my gosh, I'll put a picture of here of the lips that are on the site. Hopefully they don't go like that. I mean, normally the, um, the pictures are a complete lie anyway. <laughs> but there is definitely tingling going on. I don't particularly like the taste. But yeah. A mad amount of tingling going on now. <laughs> well, let that brew for a minute until I think, oh my gosh, I don't like this, I can't cope. <laughs> and then I'll probably wipe it all off. Mm. Woo! Okay, let's go on to the next one while I let that one tingle away. Hopefully it don't tingle too much. This is the next one. Who don't need a razor? I, I went shopping, uh, not yesterday, day before, and I'm looking at the price of the razors and out there and I thought, oh, no, just so expensive. Just so expensive. And I thought, no. So I'm going to try that. I mean, it's pointless me getting it out. You know what it is. And it's got... One, two, three. Oh, my lips are really tingling. I can't concentrate. <laughs> Five refills. <laughs> are they getting plump? <laughs> no, not really, eh? Not like the site anyway, on the site, I mean, they're crazy size. <laughs> no, but they're really tingling. Not big yet, are they? So that was that one. <laughs> what else we got? So, this is the next one. <sighs> okay. 
okay i've got some trainers got regular laces in and i saw these and i thought oh wow okay i'll give them a go so these are like you get two quite long in the packet and they're elasticy laces and they come with these little clips I'm really going for it. They come with these tiny little clips. Okay, so I can't sort these out straight away because what you've got to do with these, I had to wipe my lips and the tingling is still at it. <laughs> I might have to stop and go wash. You thread up whatever shoes that you want to so you get them like they're done up properly and then you cut the end off cut that end off and then like use a lighter or something to burn and melt all the pieces together and then you fit it onto the metal clasp one at each end so i can't do that until i actually put them into the shoes and melt them i haven't even got a lighter because I'd have to get a lighter so I can melt the ends so they don't fray, obviously, and put the clamps on. But it's just so that it's a lazy way for trainers. But I'll pick a picture here of the install picture so that you can see um, just how it's done. And I thought for the quid that it was, I'd give that a go. But I didn't know it was going to be as fussy to... Um, in store, I thought it would just be pretty quick, but it's not. You got to do a bit of faffing around. <laughs> so, but they look like they'll do the job, and they come in a huge variety of colours. I stuck to just white, but I will try them out at some point when I dig out my trainers. That's them. Weird stuff today, isn't it? <laughs> Something straightforward that I need because I have a lot of eye drops and things. Bag full of drugs. Now, who don't need a bag full of drugs? <laughs> so, you put all your prescription medication in there. It's quite a nice size bag that'll hold all my eye drops, which is what I want to put in there. Simple little bag, little canvasy feeling bag. Um, there's loads types of this with all sorts of different comments and things on. But it's, a, it's bigger than I thought it was going to be actually. But it's going to work a treat because I've got a tiny little pouch at the moment and I can't even do it up because the eye drop bottles have got so big now so i thought i'd get another one and i liked the bag of drugs comment <laughs> oh, I get it. onwards got this is next <sighs> these i don't know if you've seen them yet but they're supposed to be everlasting pencils. Now, obviously, it's not everlasting. Let's face it. Nothing is everlasting. But you don't have to sharpen it. And it always stays at a, a kind of a point. And it's a pencil. Let's give it a go. Yeah. It's just a straightforward pencil that scribbles. I've done it on a weird piece of paper. <laughs> but it's just a pencil. Um, you can turn it sideways to use the edge. Look. But you, you can't really, if, if you're, you know, a drawer. I suppose if you go over it a few times, you'll get it in different darks. 
darkness is. It's supposed to be like a HB pencil. I like it because there's no sharpening of it, but it obviously will go down to a, a nub at some point and then you can buy these nibs. And it's got a little eraser on the end, but that's the size of the pencil is just the nib. This is just to hold it all. <laughs> So instead of a lead pencil where you complete sharpening, I thought I'd give this one a go. I love a pencil. So we're gonna try that one out, but yeah, it works, works a treat, but it's not everlasting. I know they do some of the pencils up there where you can get the pencil and then say four replacement nibs. That's probably more worthwhile getting. But for me, I just wanted to try it out and yeah, I'm liking it. I like it. Anything where I don't have to keep sharpening <laughs> and I'm a happy bunny. Okay, one words. Oh, we got a box. We got a box. Oh, hello pots. I bought some self-watering pots. Oh, I thought they were gonna be same size, but no, they're slightly different sizes. That's why one can fit inside the other. Molded plastic. Let's put that one up there. And it comes with the two bottom trays. So that I assume is for the littler one. And this is for the bigger one. It's got what looks like a shoelace, but it's a wick for wicking up the water. And I assume this would be like a little water spout piece. Oh, I got this in the wrong place. Come over here, get it off of the pimples because this has got to sit with the pimples. So it, she says, and then slides one way or the other. Oh, there, no, that way. Yay, I did it. Let's slide that. Oh, slide that around. Okay, so in there we've got the little wick and the rest of the wick is would be dangling in water and you would water it in here. The wick would then bring it up to the roots of the plant. There's two holes, not unless you're supposed to go up one hole and down the other. I'm gonna poke it through the other hole as well. I don't just read it online, but it's a wick. I mean, <laughs> how wrong can you be? <laughs> like so, see how it goes from one hole to the other. Simples, and I assume let's, let's just set the other one up. Eh? I've got a couple of plants that are um, need potting up. I've got mad, not to find some plants because that help with the watering because they're on the windowsill. Uh, maybe it's like that. No. Same with the two wicks, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> and there's some pimple, there is a pimple. You've got to line it up with, so find the pimple and slide it round. Oh, oh no, slide it the other way, Trace. There, that way. And then hopefully we can get that little spouty thing on. Yeah. Okay. Straightforward. I did think they were going to be the same size though, and they're not. One is definitely smaller than the other, but they're pretty big. Look at the size of them. That stretches like the size of my hand. Have I got a room here so I can give you a marshmallows? That would be easier. Three, four, five, six, seven inch. It's just under seven inch that big one. 
just under seven inches the big and wide and this next pot is like six and a half inch six and a half seven okay well they look like they're gonna work to me and they're not too bad looking Go put my plants in them. <laughs> put my plants in them. My plants will like it anyway. <laughs> They'll be happy about the wicking. <laughs> now, I got this is a dog toy. I didn't get it for Jack for my dog. I got it for my daughter's dog. <laughs> it's whoop sits. A packet of whoop sits. Got like a little cheap squeaky in there and it's sort of crunchy and she's got like a new poopy dog so I saw this and I thought oh, I'm cute so I've got her that <laughs> she might like it <laughs> but it's just a dog toy <laughs> oh, no. crazy <laughs> this is gonna be quite a long one Ugh. Let's get this one done. So if you've got a nice cup of coffee or something. I might go and get a cup of coffee, it sounds good. Now, this is a little watering can for the house. Don't lose the rubber from its trace. Got more. Ta -da! Plastic jug. It's got millage on the side, but don't really need millage, do you? Now, is it the. Yeah, it's got to be that end out, isn't it? So that, I assume, goes on the end here. E I think it's that way or have I done it wrong already yeah I think it's that way and it's that's like the tiny little holes can you see <laughs> for pouring the water out which might or might not need there is some rubber grommets Trace he's such a muppet <laughs> but um, the baggy end on first then the grommets <laughs> I'm so stupid at times and then <laughs> you put it in there and then screw down. <laughs> I do overcomplicate things. Turn it around so it can so it can pour out. Is that? Oh. We'll try this out and I'll slip it in there. Still in the kitchen. And we've got the little watering can. <laughs> yeah, it's cute. The rose thing works, but I don't particularly need it. See how it sort of... Be nice if you've got little seedlings. But I might take the rose thing off. Look, look. Doesn't leak out here. It's a cute, cheerful little one can works a treat. Next, let's do the other kitcheny one now. Push that lot aside. It's a popcorn maker. I've never had a popcorn maker. I've just done it in the saucepan. So I'm excited to try it. We'll keep the paper out because I've got a habit of throwing <laughs> instructions away. Okay. UK plug. I will get somebody to have a look inside here. Just out of curiosity. <laughs> 
that looks like a little popcorn scoopy thing. Well, I have no idea how it works, you know. Now I'm all, I'm assuming. Ooh, okay, so it's like it's got a switch. Put this on the top somehow. Something like. That stops it spitting everywhere, I suppose. Maybe you pour the kernels in there. Have a bowl here. And I assume, but we'll try that out. <laughs> you can see what mess I make. <laughs> and I'll put it in here. <laughs> yeah, wish me luck with that one. Mm -hmm. That one. <sighs> I just opened the pop, the corn bag, and there's all over the floor <laughs> so i've just put it in one of these tubs right it says to put no more than a cup full in here but i don't i obviously don't want a whole cup so i'm gonna put a really small amount in what do you think that is like a third if that of a cup <laughs> So there's maybe a third of a cup in there. I'm glad I bought these tubs. <laughs> oh my God, I'm gonna be cleaning popcorn up for days now. That's what it says, put that in there. Put the cup back in place. Set the switch to on. After powered three minutes, the popcorn comes out of the outlets. Three minutes, it reckons. Wish me luck. Woo! Holy crap. Do you think I've got to catch this? <laughs> I think I'm going to end up wearing popcorn. I've got a bad feeling. <laughs> I've got a feeling this bowl is not big enough. What do you reckon? <laughs> oh, my, oh, it's hot. I'm scared. <laughs> oh, I can smell it. Slimy. I can hear a few popping. Oh, yay. are gonna love it <laughs> jack loves it because it's spitting all over the floor <laughs> but popcorn maker yeah works thumbs up <laughs> one works this is just another little blankie for my doggy and it's got little paw prints on it <laughs> it's cute it opens up like okay it's way big enough for him it's very thin very thin but it's pretty cute he's an old old man he is a very old man bless him and he sleeps on my bed but i've got like um a waterproof protection panel that I put on my bed just in case the old man, you know, something happens. So I like to cover it with a little blanket so you can't see the, cause the, the pad is kind of ugly, but it's a little waterproof thing, but this is cute. I like it, but it is thin, but it's nice. 
It's cute, but thin. What is this? No idea. Scissors. Didn't get my hair done or anything today. Just hopped out of the shower. Get those days where I just couldn't be asked to um, iron it. Couldn't be asked to straighten it sort of thing. Thought I'd do it later. Oh, this is for my phone. These are, oh, if I can pick them up without, it's because I put the moisturiser on my hands, see, so they're all nice and slippery. <laughs> you can't really, you can't really, <laughs> I can't show you them. My gosh, without showing you my grotty nails. There's sparkly camera lens covers for my iPhone. And obviously my iPhone's got three. It comes with the wipes. I'm assuming they're like alcohol wipes so you can clean it. But I'll put a picture here so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. But they're like tiny little sparkly protectors that will go around the camera lens. I just thought they were cute. And they're sort of purpley. We're going to definitely try those out. They're cute. As long as they stay stuck. <laughs> I can't show you it because my phone's busy. <laughs> <laughs> this is also for my phone. <laughs> I need a second phone. I need a proper camera maybe. Eventually I'll get cameras and things. This is, it's like a little white kitty. And it's got, Little plastic grommets there, and you shove them in the iPhone connector, you know, the lightning port, and then it's basically a dust protector. And there's one for the, um, I assume, the speaker, the earphone for like headphones. <laughs> but I'll put a picture here so you can see it a bit clearer because obviously. It's kind of tiny, so I can't really show you it very well. But it's really tiny. But I'm gonna give that a go. So that's treats for my phone. <laughs> Seems my phone works so hard, bless it. Next. Now I was told you like a long video. This is definitely gonna be longer than normal. These are hair bands and they're stretchy hair bands. They feel like um, rubbery nylon y, kind of rubbery. But all different. That's the one I was after. <laughs> Them and the black. Don't really do pale blue. But it was, it was them that I was after, and the grey ones. Them. That's my colours. Them, not so much. <laughs> but it's okay. I've got enough granddaughters that will nick those. <laughs> but just hairbands. Straightforward, but yeah, they're quite nice and tight. I can do it around twice. And they don't feel like they're going to pull and snag your hair, you know, when you're taking them out. So that's good. But yeah, I get through quite a lot of these. That's them. Ah, fun things for the kitchen again. Let's open them up. Looks like I bought two of these for some reason. Trace, why did you buy two? <laughs> oh, I know why I bought two now. See, they're like little men, and there's like a little. And I bought two because I'm gonna put my chopping boards, make them look like they're holding my chopping boards up. So I didn't want to just balance it on one, so I got two men so they hold them either side. But I'll show you a quick look at these in the kitchen when we go to test the popcorn maker. <laughs> 
and they look cute stupid stuff but it makes that sort of stuff makes me smile when i look at them in the kitchen and stuff like that and why not cute little men so we'll try them out in the kitchen were me little men that were holding things i bought it for my wooden chopping boards to hold things but it doesn't fit in the slot these will hold the thinner chopping boards but mine's this thick and it wouldn't go in so i'm gonna to have to think of something else to do with them <laughs> failure <laughs> next ah. another thing that's sort of for my fan sort of oh these are rubbery see i didn't think they were going to be rubbery so these are little earphones but they're weird and rubbery. Not what I expected. But, mm, okay. Just straightforward, simple little earphones. Cheap, cheerful little earphones. And then, I bought this which is lightning connector and usb for my iphone it is rubbery again but it's 10 meters so that i can <laughs> plug it into a usb socket way away and charge my phone <laughs> so that's what that's for super long charging cable from my iphone nice nice for the price <laughs> i've got two of these one black one white let's open the black one they're ladles but when i saw a picture on the site i thought i'd use them for decor <laughs> No, don't tell me they don't stand up. Oh, they do stand up. Now, it's got like a little saucer that you can stand it on like so. And the handle is a bit like a swan neck. And I've got one black, one white. When we go to the kitchen, I'll show you these as well. But I'm going to use them as decor. <laughs> yep, just decor. I thought, yeah, like that. One black, one black. We'll show you when I go through to the other side. This is the ladles <laughs> um, that I'm going to use as decor. Look how cute they are. They look like little kissy swans. <laughs> Look, <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I like them. I love the black and white thing. <laughs> but yeah, that's my cup of tea. like them a lot. <laughs> Another kitchen item. We've got a coffee machine mat. I'll put this in place. There's a few things that we can do in the kitchen this time. This is a big old coffee mat. Oh, let's get it the right way up. It's rubbery. Rubbery. La -la. But we'll put this in place and I'll show you that in the kitchen at the same time. Oh, we've got lots to try in the kitchen today. It's quite nice and big. It's not completely full length width of the worktop 
but it's not far off it which I might push it all the way to the back actually but I like the pattern it's quite nice it's gonna make a nice little coffee bar area okay got the last item that came in a box just got the box open I think I know what this is Ooh, box out of the way Oh, right. right. Oh, yeah. Their glasses, have they made it intact? That one's good. That one's, yes, they have. And they're supposed to be like Coke can size. With the glass straws. Let's see if they've made it. Oh, what's that? Oh, there's two bristle cleaners. That's another one. Oh, wow, they actually made it. And all the straws made it too. How cute are they? It's supposed to be like a shape of a Coke can and it's got the little glass straw. I loved them when I saw them. So I've got four of those with the two straw cleaners. Love them. And they made it. <laughs> so that is the end of this haul. Just check in. Yep. There was lots of little bits there, wasn't there? But we're gonna go and have a play in the kitchen now. And I'll, I'll add that in at some point, as you can see. But that is it for the haul. Yay, what did you think? What was your favorites? I'm loving the glasses, <laughs> I must admit. I'm loving the glasses. There were some failures, like this. Mm, rubbish rubbish and I didn't like the lip plumping at all the tingling and the lip no no that that glossy stuff was not nice the aloe vera color changing one I liked that was nice and I don't think it really did much for my eyes because I couldn't get that much out of it but I'll, I'll try again with that one But you never know, eh? What do you mean you never know? I don't know what I'm talking about now. I'm tired. <laughs> so, I need to go straighten this mop of hair of mine <laughs> and get a nice cup of coffee, I think. So until the next haul, whatever that may be, <laughs> be good and I'll see you then.